doing is just priming my eyelids. This is the Smashbox 24 hour eyeshadow primer and that's just going to go on the eyelid all the way up to the um, eyebrow. And then I'm going to go in with Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and this is just going to even out the skin tone and it's also going to make the colors appear a little bit more vibrant. So now some of the eyeshadow colors that I'm using today are from the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette and the first color is just a soft brown. This one is called Rewind and I'm taking a fluffy blending brush and applying this on the crease and also on the brow bone just lightly. Now to add a little bit more color to the eyelid, I'm using this paint pot by MAC. This one is called Rubenesque and I'm just going to take a synthetic flat shading brush and apply this on the eyelid area and then I'm going to go over it with a gold shadow and this bottom base is really going to make that gold pop really nicely. So now I'm just going to take a flat shader brush and apply a gold shadow right on top of that paint pot and this one is actually from a palette from Lancome and I'll link it down below. I'm not sure what this palette is called. I think it's the 212 Peach Opulence. Uh, but I'll let you guys know just to make sure. And yeah, just pretty much work that and blend that out. And here I'm just taking a fluffy, a fluffy, I'm sorry, a fluffy brush and just blending out the edges from this soft brown because everything needs to be nice and smoked out. Second color is called Ambush and that's going to go on the crease as well. And this is going to be more for depth and just make sure you blend that out really well. Now for the highlight, I'm taking Habit, which is just a vanilla matte highlight. You can definitely do a shimmer one. I just ended up using this one because it was in the palette and I didn't want to dig through something else when this one works perfectly fine. So this is just going to go right underneath the brow. And then I'm going to go back into the Lancome palette and take the dark, uh, darkest color from the palette, which is sort of like this dark navy blue, which works really nicely actually. And that's going to go right onto the outer crease. And I'm just sort of creating like an outer V and then just taking a fluffy clean brush and just blending all of that out. Next, I'm just taking a black liner. I'm doing all the steps that I always do. Uh, this is just a liner by L'Oreal. And I'm doing the waterline, and then I'm gonna add mascara to my top lashes. Oh, but before that, I'm actually going back into that sort of dark navy blue and just taking an angled brush and sort of setting that eyeliner so it doesn't move around. So I'm just gonna dip it in the powder, eyeshadow, and then just sort of dab it onto the waterline. So now you want to take a pencil brush and smoke out that eyeliner. I did dip it into the darkest color that went in the outer V and that's just going to give me a little bit more intensity but you definitely want that eyeliner to be nice and smoked out. Next thing that I'm doing is applying eyeliner. This is by L'Oreal. It's the Linear Intense, which is a really intense, dark, black, easy to use eyeliner. And I'm just gonna really wing that out. As you can see, I'm really dragging out that outer corner first. And then just fill in the rest. And as you can see, I'm gonna go over it a few times because this one's not as intense as the black bottle. But just pretty much create a very elongated cat eye. So here I'm just going to curl my lashes, add mascara to my top and bottom lashes before I apply my falsies and then I'm good to go. Next comes the lashes, my favorite part of the entire look. These lashes are so amazing. Uh, they're from townoflashes.com. They're 100% mink and this style is called LA Super or La Super. I'm not sure which one it is, but these are so glamorous, amazing, and they make your eyes look just incredible, I swear. All right, so now I'm gonna start by prepping my face for the makeup and I'm using this hydrating face cream by Bobbi Brown, which is just a really nice moisturizing facial cream and I'm just gonna blend that into my skin first. And then I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Clean Slate Flawless Primer and I'm taking my Real Techniques, um, what brush is this? Expert Face Brush, which is amazing for so many things. And I'm just gonna buff that into my entire skin and this is really gonna help the makeup last all day freaking long. So 
So now for foundation, I'm using the NYX HD Studio Foundation and this one is in the color Natural Beige 06 and I'm actually going to take um, the same brush that I was using and just buff that into my entire face. And this, guys, if you're going to be on camera or photograph with your friends, this foundation actually makes your skin look freaking flawless. All right, so now I'm just gonna go into my Bobbi Brown uh, concealer slash foundation palette. So this is just gonna be my concealer and I'm gonna use it to mostly just brighten up the face rather than conceal because I don't really have a lot to conceal today. So for the most part, it's just gonna be to brighten up the face and then I'm just gonna use my beauty blender to sort of start by tapping and blending it out. And then I'm gonna use a variety of different brushes to sort of blend out the outer corners or the edges uh, just because I don't want to get the beauty blender too close to my eyes because I don't want to ruin the eyeshadow but I am going to just later go back with a clean brush and just buff it out all over. Now to set my concealer I'm just taking banana powder by Ben Nye which is a yellow tone sort of translucent powder and that's just going to go right where I applied the concealer. And then to set the rest of the face, I'm just taking the Makeup Forever HD uh, Loose Powder Face, Loose Powder, Loose Face Powder, <laughs> and uh, just does that all over my face. And Chanel and Gizmo came right about this time. They got a haircut. They look so freaking cute, right? That's Gizmo. And here comes Chanel, the queen. I know a lot of you guys were like, what happened to them? They're still around. Anyways, so now it's time for bronzer. This one's by Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil Medium Slash Deep Matte Bronzer. And that's just gonna go on the hollow parts of the face to give it some sort of sun-kissed look and also some definition. Now for the apples of my cheeks, I'm going with Peaches, which is uh, this beautiful sort of pinkish peach blush, and that's going to go on the apples of my cheeks. Alright, so now for the lips, I have my uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Naked 2. And I'm just going to use that to line my lips entirely and also fill them in. And the lipstick that I'm using is called Love Lorn. It's the Luster Finish by MAC and it's amazingly beautiful. I am obsessed with this new color. I just rediscovered it and I'm obsessed. So that's what I'm using. And then next I'm just going to take this highlight. This one is called What's Up by Benefit and it's actually like this cream stick formula but even after you set it with powders it still blends in very nicely into the face and I'm just going to apply that on the cheekbones and is, it just looks amazing. This one is really one of my favorite highlights. Okay, so I'm almost done. Now I'm just taking another bronzer that's a little bit lighter than the one that I used for my cheeks. This is uh, the BB Bronzer in Medium to Dark by Physicians Formula. And I'm just taking sort of this uh, professional face paint brush and I'm just gonna just add a little bit of contour on the side of my nose. And I did also add some highlight on my brow bone, but this is pretty much the look. I'm just finishing it off with some setting spray by Skin Navia, and I am completely done. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and make sure you hashtag Dulce Candy on Instagram so I can check out your looks and repost them later on Facebook. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.